Dear students, I am Bharat Kashyap, lecturer Biology at GSSS Majwad District Mandi. Today I am going to teach you the second chapter of Biology. The name of chapter is Biological Classification and today's topic is Kingdom Fungi. Kingdom Fungi Look at the diagram. These are the different members of Kingdom Fungi. Fungi is a unique kingdom of heterotrophic organisms. Fungi are found all over the world and occur in air, water, soil and on animals and plants. They prefer to grow in warm and humid places. They show a great diversity in morphology and habitat. They occur on moist bread, rotten fruits, common mushroom and toadstools are all fungi. White spots on mustard leaves, wheat rust causing paxinia are examples of parasitic fungus. Yeast fungus is used to make bread and beer. Some are source of antibiotics, for example penicillium. You can look these examples in diagrams. Mycelium, the plant body, except yeasts which are unicellular, other fungi are filamentous. Their bodies consist of long, slender, thread-like structures called hyphae. The network of hyphae is known as mycelium. Hyphae are of two types, synocytic hyphae these are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm and septate hyphae. These have septa or cross walls in these hyphae. The cell walls of fungi contain chitin and polysaccharides. Now nutrition in fungi as Fungi are heterotrophic and they synthesize food by following ways. Saprophytes, they absorb soluble organic matter from dead substances. Parasites, they depend on living plants and animals. Fungi can live as symbionts when in association with algae as lichens. Sometimes in association with roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza. Now reproduction in fungi. It occur by following ways. Vegetative reproduction. It take place by means of fragmentation, fission and budding. Then asexual reproduction, it occur by spores called cunidia, sporangiospores and zoospores. Now sexual reproduction, it occur by various spores like oospores, ascospores and basidiospores. These are produced in distinct structures called fruiting bodies. You can look in diagram the various types of spores, ascospores, bisidiospores, and these are the fruiting bodies. Now sexual cycle in fungi, it involves the following three steps. First step is plasmogamy. 
it is fusion of protoplasm between two motile or non motile gametes you can look at the diagram here this is plasmogamy then karyogamy now it is fusion of two nuclei to form zygote then meiosis it occurs in zygote and results in formation of haploid spores this is the reproductive sexual cycle in fungi these spores germinate and form the haploid plant body now let us discuss special case in fungi during sexual cycle as we know in lower fungi plasmogamy is immediately followed by karyogamy to form diploid cells but in higher fungi it is delayed and dikaryon n plus n that is two nuclei per cell are formed these mitotically divide to form a mycelium in dikaryophase the fungus grows in this phase to form fruiting bodies and karyogamy occurs in them these zygotic cells then undergo meiosis to form four haploid spores now classification of fungi on basis of the morphology of the mycelium mode of spore formation and fruiting bodies kingdom fungi is divided into following classes first one is phycomycetes then ascomycetes then basidiomycetes and last one is deuteromycetes first are phycomycetes they are found in aquatic habitats or in decaying wood at damp places or as obligate parasites on other plants mycelium is aseptate and cynocytic a sexual reproduction takes place by motile zoospores and non motile aplanospores these spores are produced endogenously in sporangium sexual reproduction take place by zygospores which are formed by isogamous and isogamous or oogamous gametes its examples are first mucker mucker on bread you can see in diagram then rhizopus it is common bread mold then albugo parasite on mustard second ones are ascomycetes commonly known as sac fungi due to sac like fruiting body called ascus in them they are rarely unicellular for example yeast or saccharomyces they are saprophytic decomposers parasitic or some members are coprophilous mycelium is branched and septate a sexual spores conidia grow outside or exogenous on special mycelium called conidiophores sexual spores are called ascospores which are produced endogenously in sac like structures called ascus or plural sci these sci are arranged in different types of fruiting bodies called ascocarps morels these are like mushrooms and truffles these are solid underground balls are edible fungi of ascomycetes group for example penicillium it is used in medicine 
as antibiotic and penicillin is obtained from it. Aspergillus and claviceps whereas neurospora it is extensively used in biochemical and genetic work. You can see the diagram this is aspergillus now claviceps and then neurospora so these are the ascomycetes next class is basidiomycetes the common basidiomycetes are mushrooms bracket fungi and puffballs they grow in soil on logs and tree stumps some living in plant bodies as parasites for example rusts and smuts the mycelium is branched and septate the vegetative reproduction is common and occur by fragmentation the sex organs are absent but plasmogamy is brought by fusion of two somatic cells of different stains or genotypes which give rise to form basidium karyogamy and meiosis takes place in basidium producing four exogenous basidiospores the basidia are arranged in fruiting bodies called basidiocarps for example agaricus mushroom astilego smut paxinia the rusts now deuteromycetes these are commonly known as imperfect fungi as only a sexual or vegetative phase of these fungi are known these reproduce by a sexual spores called conidia the mycelium is septate and branched some members are saprophytes or parasites and a large number of them are decomposers of litter which helps in mineral cycle for example alternaria colletotrichum trichoderma you can watch these in these diagrams with this we come to end of today's lecture i do hope you must have understood it properly thanks for watching